sunny Italian island of Capri, and the results are sure to be, well, interesting. Yes, Mariah Carey has been putting those lungs of hers to good use recently, much to Westside approval. So we joined them in the Italian sunshine, leading new life into the old classic against all odds, and found, well, they all got on quite well, actually. But we all know Mariah Carey's the type of chick who's used to living the high life, but she's really from New York City, the east side. So today, she's going to try out the West Life. In fact. How are you doing, sweet cheeks? On the floor. From Random Mac. Oh, thank you. So to help me cope with anything. We met Mariah at the American Music Awards after show party in um, a very, very swank hotel in Beverly Hills. And uh, she, we were just talking to her and she turned around to us and she says, um, you know, at the end of the conversation, maybe someday us guys can get together and do a song together. And we were like, cool. I thought it would just be a cool thing to do to kind of turn it into a duet and combine what they do with what I do. <laughs> Who would you like to sing with? Out of everybody in the whole world, it's like Mariah Carey. They haven't tried to come on to me. They've been quite respectful, actually. You know what? They're trying to teach me an Irish girl, but I, I can't I can't master it yet. It's my Even with the accent. It's my the Grogger Joe. The Grogger Joe. Yeah. A lot of people said it was, oh, it mightn't happen. You know, it, you know, but then we spoke to Clive Davis, obviously the head of Arista Records, and he was saying, um, you know, Mariah isn't the type of girl to say something and not kind of carry it out. You know, she must be really, really interested. So we were like, all around. The song Against All Eyes was something that I used to listen to when I was growing up and was one of my favorite songs. We were all kind of nervous in fairness. We were all kind of sitting around going, right, what do we do? What do we do? And she was just like, relax it straight away. This is right, we're going to sing these parts and just sing through it together and see what you think. And she was asking us what we thought. Basically, I said, how do you guys usually work? And they said, however you want to do it. They stack a lot of harmonies, and so we made the song kind of a different thing. But it was an easy process. It wasn't like this difficult drama. I like that. We took some pictures, and I was standing on top of a, a, a rounded roof. A little pink number, a little pink flowery number, and she looked fantastic. I had five strapping Irish lads around me, and so I wasn't nervous. She's everything. She's got great legs as well. <laughs> I think it's the most important thing that's happened in our career so far. I think to do a duet with Mariah Carey is probably the best thing you can do. Definitely, especially when you're doing a duet like a band like herself and to get a, a diva like herself. But I think I think it can't do anything bad for a career. It's going to do everything good for a career. It's, there's no doubt about it. I could be wrong, but I think the guys took rather a shine to Miss Katie there, or was it just a short dress? Anyway, at the moment, that single doesn't have a release date, but we will, of course, keep you updated and watch out for it, because it's going to be massive. Now,